Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In this series of two videos, we are going to focus on data frames. This data frame is a relatively new concept in Stata as it was introduced in Strata 16, but in other programming languages that we use for data science, uh, we have data frames in them uh, for quite long. So uh, in R and in Python, we had data frames for quite uh, some time. So uh, what data frame uh, is useful if we are working with multiple data sets, we do not have to open different instances of Strata or we do not have to make multiple copies or save them in our, um, in our memory, in our hard drive. Uh, for it for to work with those specific data sets. So we can uh, work with multiple data sets within one instance of Strata. Uh, so let's uh, move forward and you would get an idea what uh, how powerful data frame uh, concept is. But before we work with command line, I would like to show you where uh, it can be found from the menu. So we click on data, then we click on frames manager. Okay. So uh, the the default, uh, so this is the, the uh, current frame. Uh, the, we do not have any other frames. We only have a default frame. Uh, its name is default. This default for frame would load as soon as you load the data set, uh, rather as, you, as soon as you open the Stata. Then we can create a new data frame, switch to another data frame, rename, copy, uh, get some subset of the data, drop a data frame or a reset data frame. So let's uh, move forward and first we need, uh, let, let me import some data. So just to give an idea, when we are working with uh, different uh, data sets, how would it look like? So let's uh, use this auto data and in this specific data frame, we have this data loaded, but let's say we wanted some other data also to be loaded and we wanted it to, to work with that specific data. So the, the current way that you would be doing is would to open a new instance of Stata, right? Let's just say, uh, currently you might be uh, doing it like this open a new instance of Strata and then load the data, right? But this uh, is a difficult way and it gets, gets messy. So there is an easy way to work with. So uh, let's create a new uh, frame. So we use frame create command to create a new data frame. The syntax is frame create. This is the command name. And then we write the name of the new data frame. So frame create, this time I want to create a new frame called ABC. So this new data frame is created, right? Uh, and if you, I wanted to look uh, whether a data frame had been created or not, and what are the different data frames that we have, what I can do is I can use a frame uh, DIR, which stands for frames directory, and it would give me a list of different data frames that are currently there. So if you look uh, over here, we already had the default data frame. Its name is default data, default rather. And uh, it, it have 74 observations and 12 variables. And this is the data label. And we created, we just created a new data frame called ABC, but it do not have any observations or any variable. So let's uh, give me, let me give you another idea. Now, uh, when we are working with frames, we can either use frame or frames. They, they both would work the same way. So let's create, uh, frames create X, Y, Z. So let's create a new data frame called X, Y, Z. And, uh, you'll get an idea that frames would also work. Uh, there is also a uh, shortcut for, uh, rather than writing two words, we can just write MKF, which stands for make frame, and then write the uh, name of the new data frame. So MKF, new data frame. We can also create a variable within this same command. So frame create, then the name of the new frame, and the name of the variable that would be created within this, this new data frame. So let me create this. 
And if I can show you from the frame directory, you would see that this new frame two that we just created over here have a variable, all right? But no observations, obviously. So one variable, but no observations. And you can also note is asterisk sign over here because because we made some changes in this data frame and we didn't save uh, that data frame. So it's uh, giving us a warning sign uh, that this is not saved. But with other data frames that we just created because it neither has any observations nor any variables, it is not giving us the asterisk uh, warning sign. Okay, let me create this time five different variables but uh, now I would also assign a data type to these variables. So uh, frame create, this is the command that would create the frame. This is the name of the new data frame. And this time I want to create event window and rating variable. These are the name of the variables. And I want to assign a data type of string to them because I know these two variables would st store string data, uh, text data. And then we have these other three variables, observations, CER, uh, cumulative average ret uh, return, and then T value. We know that these variables would store, store numeric data. So I'm giving them the data type as double. So the way it works is uh, we write the variable name within parentheses and each group uh, uh, would uh, prefix with the, with the uh, type of the data. So if I can just quickly show you from the frame directory, we can see that we do not have any observations, but we just created five different variables. I just discussed the frame directory. Okay, then we can use just frame uh, to check what the current frame we are working in. So we have different frames. We do not know which frame we are working in. So this frame command would give us that the current frame is default. We can also use the shortcut print working frame and that will also give us the same uh, result. It will tell us which frame we are currently working in. So each command that we would execute would uh, would work with uh, this that specific data frame that that is currently uh, that is the current data frame. Okay, so currently we are in default data frame, but we just created uh, five different variables in the result data frame, and we want to move towards the result data frame and work with those variables or create some variables or, uh, you know, transform the data or perform some analysis. So we need to change the frame. So the command that we use is frame change. And then the uh, name of the frame that we want to move towards to. So frame change results. And now we have moved towards uh, the results frame. And you can also look from the variables. We have these five variables that we created uh, over here in the results data frame. Uh, but we do not have any observations, right? And if you click on the event window, you would see that its data type is string 20. Similar goes for these rating category, whereas for the observations, we have a double data type. Okay. And if I can uh, simply write frames, it would give me this uh, that the current frame is result. So we have moved from uh, default frame towards the result frame and any command that we execute would go towards this data frame. So let's create uh, generate price is equal to one in one to five. Uh, okay, we do not have any observations. So that's why we cannot generate, but anyhow, if I were to generate, let's say price equal to dot, so that would generate this price variable anyways. But remember this command had been executed and this variable had been created in this results data frame and not in any other data frame. So any command that we execute would work with the current data frame. There is a shortcut to changing the uh, working data frame, which is change working data a change working frame CWF and uh, CWF and space we write the name of the uh, frame that we want to move towards to. So although we are currently already in the results data frame, we can also rename uh, the uh, 
the data frame and we know in the default frame we had auto data so it would be nice if we can rename uh, the default data as auto data so the way it works is we write the command name and obviously as with other frames command we can either write frame or frames that would work perfectly fine so frame rename then the old name of the uh, and the new name it is similar to the rename command so this is the syntax okay so frame rename default auto and if i can quickly show you from the frame directory you would see that instead of default we now have auto data we have changed the name of the frame we can also drop a frame so we write frame drop let's say this time we drop the xyz frame we are not going to use it and the xyz had been dropped and now uh, it is not necessary that you'd have to change towards the data frame that you want to work with. You can also rather use the prefix. So previously I showed you that I have changed uh, from the default. I've moved from the default fr data frame to the results data frame. This is what we did over here. And then we created the price variable, but it is not necessary to do that. We already have this data frame called ABC and we want to import auto data also in this data frame. Now, one way that I showed you is to use frame change ABC and then uh, import the data. But there is a, another way where we use the frame prefix command. So we, uh, so, so we want to perform this specific command sys use auto that would import the data, but we want to import it rather than importing it into the current frame we want to import it into the abc frame so what we do is frame abc colon this is the prefix so what it is saying is the yes execute this command within this data frame so now you would see that this command had been executed but we do not see the auto data over here right but if i can show you frame directory you would see that abc previously had zero observations now I have 74 observations and 12 variables, which is the auto data. Similarly, we can uh, not just import, but we can perform any command with this uh, prefix. So we want to describe, uh, we want to perform this command in this data frame, uh, this ABC data frame. So we write frame ABC colon and then describe. So this is not describing the current data frame, but rather the ABC data frame. <coughs> Uh, okay, uh, so we currently are in the uh, uh, results uh, results data frame, right? Current frame is results. And we already have some variable names, right? Maybe some data also. But if I wanted to perform this frame results, sys use auto it is not necessary that if you perform it with the current data frame if there is a data frame and it already have a data or variables and you are going to import some data into it then it would give you an error right so no data in the memory has since last saved so there is a data but there is an option called clear uh, and uh, what this clear would do is as the clear works with the other import commands it would uh, clear the data current data and import the new data right so previously it gave us an error and we had some variables in the result uh, data frame but those variables had been gone had been cleared and now we have imported the auto data over here also now sometimes we have multiple commands and using the this prefix with each command becomes tricky so what we can you do is we can use this um, this block of uh, commands. So we start with frame ABC. Uh, then within this block, uh, whatever command that I execute uh, would be executed uh, in this data frame. So what I want to do is I want to generate a price two variable, assign it a value of one thousand for each observation. And I want to drop if repair is greater than three. I want to perform these two commands. 
so what I did is I created a block data frame, uh, a, a block, and all these commands would be performed on this frame. Uh, okay, so if I move towards the uh, the ABC or rather I should describe this ABC uh, data frame because we have just performed some uh, commands on the ABC uh, data frame. So I can see we have price two variable being created and instead of 74 observation previously we had um, now they are reduced to 40 because uh, 34 observations were uh, dropped right. Okay, so that's it for this uh, tutorial. In the next one, we would work on the uh, copy uh, frame put and some other commands related to data frame. Uh, I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, do subscribe to this channel and do hit the like button.